So guys, welcome back to the channel. This right here is a JLab JBuds ergonomic mouse. You can actually find this in many locations. You can find it on the JLab website. You can probably get it on Amazon for a little bit cheaper depending on the sales. But I happened to get mine at Best Buy for I believe it was $39.99 for the mouse. When I saw the price tag, I thought it was actually pretty cheap because I do have other mouses that are substantially more expensive than this but have less functionality. So this is one of the reasons why I bought it. Now, it does have Bluetooth. It has two Bluetooth settings. It has a 2.4 gigahertz setting where it does have a dongle that comes with it. It's actually in the bottom of the mouse itself right here, but I already have it inside my computer, so keep that in mind when we move forward in this video. You have all these buttons, which all of them are customizable except for the left click. You're going to hear me say that a lot. And of course, right here, it says it has a four month battery life, though what I will say is mine doesn't last as long as four months because I'm always use it. I never turn it off. I have it hooked up to multiple devices all the time. So I am draining my battery life more than the average person. But if you, but again, you can still get at least a minimum of two to three uh, months of battery life if you just keep it hooked up to your computer without turning it off. And it is USB-C to of course charge it. So it's pretty cool. So it has multi-point in a sense. I'm going to call it multi-point because you can switch between different things. It just feels good in the hand. It's not bad for the asking price. To be honest, I think JLab makes better computer products than they do earbuds but you know it is what it is that's just my personal opinion let's get into this review i'm not going to waste your time let's hop right into it timestamps will be in the description for anyone that wants to skip to the part they want to see let's go so this is the mouse right here outside of the box now, it does have seven keys on it that are customizable. Well, the only one that isn't customizable is the left click right here. And I'll show you that in the next section, what the presets do before we add any software to this, because the software is where it, where it gets really special, where it allows you to really customize your mouse for the best experience. You can also customize your keyboard too, if you have other JLab products. But my suggestion is to make sure that your stuff is compatible first before you just go buy a JLab product and then you know you think it's compatible and it's not. Now, with that being said, what does it come with? It comes with this guy right here, which basically shows you how to put it in Bluetooth. It shows you how to charge it, of course. It does come with the 2.4 gigahertz dongle. And of course, it has a JLA application itself. So the app that you use on the PC, the, the work application, is entirely different than the JLab application that's in your PC itself. The PC one is for like mouse and keyboards. The one that is on the Google Play Store is more so for headsets and things like that. Now, with that being said, let me get this out of the way. It does come with a charger right here, which is pretty good. But because I have so many USB-Cs in general from doing reviews, you know, it's just an extra one for me. I actually forgot it was inside the box, if we're being honest here. And this is Butters right here, <laughs> the little kitty. Anyway, also what we have here is seven buttons. You have your DPI button with four settings, 1200, 1600, 2000, and 2400. For the person that don't know what I'm talking about, DPI is your mouse cursor speed. I'm going to show you that in the next section, how to actually change it. And believe it or not, this button is customizable. You also have your right click right here. This is customizable. Also self-explanatory what right click does for mouse pads. You have your roller where if you put that up and down, it will make the screen go up and down. And if you click it, it'll actually make your screen, uh, it'll have a little cursor that allows you to scroll up and down faster. This click part is also considered a customizable button, but these are the presets. Right here, you have the JLab button. It's a physical button. If you tap this, it'll actually minimize your applications. I'll show you that in a second, or actually on screen so you can see it. But also, this is customizable to change. You have forward and backward. This is for web pages. So if you click on a web page and you want to go backwards, you tap this one, it'll go backwards. You tap it if you want to go forward. I know web browsers have that on their own, but some people want full functionality with their mouse, so that is a pretty cool thing. Also customizable on the bottom. This is the part that actually, actually, let me show you this part first. This is the USB-C. This is where you charge it. Now, I get about a good two to three months of charge on my mouse. Now, granted, I believe the mouse pad lasts a little bit longer than that. I forget the exact length of the back of the mouse, but it does differ on how you use it. I use this mouse every single day. I never turn it off. I leave it on all the time along with the keyboard and I could get months of battery lights out of it. I'm doing edits. I'm doing videos. I'm playing games. I'm doing different things, though. I will say that this isn't really a gaming mouse. It's more so for productivity editing you know things like that everyday stuff uh, right here you have the on button and also you have the little usb dongle it's missing right now because it's currently plugged into my computer but if you turn this on there's three settings now initially in that little booklet that i showed you guys i showed you how to sync this if it's 2.4 gigahertz you just plug it in you're good to go you don't have to worry about nothing 
if it's Bluetooth, you tap it over here once, it switches over to Bluetooth, you tap it again for Bluetooth 2, you tap it again for 2.4 gigahertz, that's the green one. Now, I wanna show you how to sync it to Bluetooth. If you tap this once, it doesn't go into sync mode automatically. You have to hold this button, and then it puts it in Bluetooth mode, and then whatever Bluetooth device you decide to use, whether it's an iPad, whether it's a tablet, whether it's another laptop, it doesn't really matter. Once you sync it, it's going to automatically know the setting every single time you click over to it. And then you can just click again and, you know, these will be all your presets. But for right now, for the video purposes, we're going to leave it on 2.4 gigahertz. So, you know, with that being said, I do think that this is a pretty cool looking mouse. It feels good inside the hand. It's very ergonomic. That's what that design is for. This is more so to, pre to prevent people from getting carpal tunnel. It's one of the reasons why I switched over to this type of design in general. And this happens to be a pretty decent mice mice <laughs> pretty decent mouse for the asking price which is only $39.99 there are more expensive ones there are better ones absolutely but just because something's more expensive doesn't mean that you have to buy it trust me this is actually good enough for the average person but you know to each their own that's how it looks that's how it feels I happen to like this mouse a lot but anyway I dragged on enough let's go on to the next section so I'm going to show you guys the presets for this mouse real fast before we go into the section of customization and don't mind a catch for some reason she just wants to be right near me anyway first things first there are seven buttons we have left click we have right click we have the dpi button which i believe is 1600 no 1200 1600 2000 and 2400 which each click it changes matter of fact let's go over that one first so at right now and i believe it's on 2400 yep this is 1200 you see how the mouse pad oh come on come on katie don't do that now you see the mouse pad how it's moving the little cursor right here that's on 1200 if you click it again this is on 1600 one more time that is 2000 and the last time this is 2400 so keep that in mind the button that you see right here this circular jlab button remember these buttons are customizable everything except for left click is customizable so if you click this once it actually it doesn't close your application. It just minimizes all of your screens, whatever it is that you're doing. And if you tap it again, bam, you back right here. So for all the people out there that feel like I don't feel like pressing all these keys to minimize all my windows, it will minimize every single window. And when you tap it again, whatever you were doing is going to stay on the screen exactly the way it was well previously. You have the these two buttons right here and they're preset right now so you can change these also but this one is going to be forward and this one to be backwards for the web page so let me show you so if I tap it it goes backwards if I tap it again it goes forward back to where I was see let me do it one more time so you can see that backwards forward there you go now it, it's pretty good I actually think that this is really good now obviously you have right click right here which is pretty self-explanatory what right click is when I hit this mouse pad right here this is right click and then lastly, I think this is the last button right here, you have the roller, the scroller. Now, believe it or not, if you click the scroller in, you know, you can just slide the page up and down like that. That's what I normally do when I read manga. But also, when you click this in, you can actually change the functionality of what this does too if you don't want that screen to actually scroll up and down. Some people just don't mind using a dollar and they're not too concerned about the uh, scroller because too many times you might pass something too quickly and, you know, if you're not really proficient in using this particular feature, you may not use it. But anyway, those are the presets for this particular mouse that you see right here. Now, we can customize everything. Also, I do want to say that if you look at the bottom right here, I, I guess you could say that this is the uh, quick tutorial. You have the option where it's on and off, of course. Don't mind the cat in the background. She's in heat right here. If we tap this, it'll say Bluetooth and then Bluetooth 2. And then we click it again, it goes right back to the 2.4 gigahertz. And guess what? It's not, I have no problems whatsoever. The multi-point or whatever you want to call it on this is it's seamless. And for the asking price, $39, I have to think this is a really, really good mouse. Now, with that being said, I wasted enough time. Let's go over the actual work application so you can see how full the customization actually is for this mouse. Now, before we get into the actual customization of the mouse itself, I just want to show you guys something. This does work for Mac and it does work for PC. For the person wondering where to find this link, it is on the JLab website. But if you happen to find my video and you happen to own one of these products, I'm just going to leave the link in the description so you can download it. Now, it does require an email address in order to do so. And there's one thing that we need to talk about first. For you guys that like Bluetooth, 
from my understanding, and this may have changed, but I don't have Bluetooth on my computer, so I'm not able to test it right now. And the dongle that I have is damaged, unfortunately, so it is what it is, so just hear me out. It did tell me that if you use it in 2.4 gigahertz, it gives you a little caption before you, you know, download the application itself, that these features can be customized if you're using a 2.4 gigahertz connection. Now, it may have changed in between the time of the mouse coming up with uh, updates. I had to had this mouse for probably, I don't know, seven, eight months now, roughly. I forget the exact release date of this mouse, but I had it for quite some time along with the keyboard. And to be honest with you, I didn't really use the application because I don't need the customization for my lifestyle, but I do want to show it to some of you guys out there that want to just really get the most out of your products, right? And the good thing is that the app is free. Now, you're done hearing me rant. I'm going to show you the application itself. Let me minimize the screen. If you look right here, this is the JLab. So whatever's highlighted is what's currently customizable. I have the Epic keyboard and I do have the JBuds ergonomic mouse. Obviously you're watching the video if you're seeing this, but I wanna show you both anyway. Now, I believe this keyboard is about $60 or so. It might actually be a little bit cheaper. And this has 2.4 gigahertz in addition to two Bluetooth settings. So you can say it has multi-point and it's just the press of a button. You don't have to worry about anything else in these crazy syncing methods. Now, whatever you see highlighted here, this is what's customizable on this keyboard. So the F1 keys all the way to the F1, F12, and some of these keys, the one, two, three, the windows key right here, the swap windows and a custom screen capture. Remember, these buttons are different on this PC. So if I click on the F1, for example, and scroll all the way down, here are all of your options right here. I'll just name a few, backlight, you have brightness, swap windows, close windows, redo, copy, paste. Remember, if, if you're a person out there that really wants the full experience you're typing you're writing a book you're doing different things you may want short keys for everything that you want as a matter of fact it's actually funny the mouse has a short key that allows you to actually run commands so you don't have to type it in yourself or press a button sequence you just tap a key and it does it on its own and i think that's a really cool thing that they did but you know enough about that anyway this is the full customization right here for the keyboards now what i will say is every key right here as you can see it's all the same for all of the F1 to F12 keys. Now, it does vary a little bit differently when you do these six, where if I go to the top, I have the option to hit Windows. I can make one of these keys Alt, Control, or Shift. You have Button Off, where it's just no button at all. Media Play, Pause and Play, Volume Up and Down, things like that. Browser, Calculator, My Computer, Cut, Paste, Undo. You know, it just gave a couple more options. And the rest of these are, you know, pretty much the same right here. But we're not here for this keyboard. I figured I'd just do a little throw in for the people watching the video. Now, more importantly, we have the JBuds ergonomic mouse. What happens here? And the customization, I think, is a little bit more for the mouse pad itself. So for the people wondering, the DPI button is a little circle button right here. If you tap it, 1200, 1600, 2000, 2400. For the people who don't know what that is, I'm going to give it to you in the most layman terms that I can. It's the mouse speed, it's the mouse cursor speed. So you see the mouse moving around up here. If I tap it where it's 1200, it's slower. But it might be easier for someone to move around when it's slower for more sensitivity. And if you wanna be able to glide across the screen a little bit more, you got 1200, 1600, 2000, and then lastly, 2400. Now, if you're wondering why people will want the mouse to move faster, I actually have multiple screens. So for my wife, she has a 34, 37 inch screen over here. I'm using her screen, which is a 27, so it's pretty small. So I don't need it to go as fast, but I just figured I'd just show you the customization. And it also has a refresh rate, which I believe the refresh rate standard is normally 125, but I ended up putting up to 250 just because I don't really have a reason to, but I decided to do it anyway. Now, with that being said, let's look at the customization of all the keys. So there are seven keys on this mouse. The uh, first click, left click, as it's called, you can't mess with that. You can mess with right click, middle button, DPI cycle, forward, back, and desktop, show desktop. And that's this button right here. So if you press it, it shows the desktop. Anyway, you can change these buttons. You can change it to, like if you click on keyboard, you can make it a, a particular key right here, which I'm not gonna do that. But we're gonna go over the actual options options. So if you hit mouse, you have left click, right click, middle button, forward, backward, double click, scroll up, scroll down, right? DPI will be DPI cycle. So you'll be pressing that like I did the four times to switch it, or you could just make the button physically a plus or a minus. To be honest, the cycle is good enough. There's only four cycles anyway, and you definitely can tell the difference based on how it moves, so keep that in mind. You have a multimedia option, which is media, pause and play, trivia, previous track, I'm sorry, I don't know what I said, trivias. Next track, volume up and down and mute. You have the browser button, which is browser home, browser forward, back, stop, refresh, search, 
um, email, calculator, my computer, the shortcut. Now, this is the one that I think a lot of people that are heavy into editing is gonna like. Screen capture, PC lock, run command. You can make it a button. Show desktop, swap windows, close windows, print, select, undo, redo, find, save, paste, copy, cut. Now, all the options that I just gave you, it's exactly the same with every single button sequence that you choose right here, like uh, cut and you know different things, everything's the same. So it is fully customizable with the options that you see here. Personally, I would leave right click alone the way that it is, but for a person out there that may not want to use the mouse in a traditional way, you do have the option of changing six of the keys, keep that in mind. All I'm gonna say to that is I personally leave it alone. I don't mess with any of the keys. I like the fact that the home button is here where I can just hit this and minimize everything real fast instead of you know trying to press a bunch of different buttons and hoping that the screen's open, especially if I'm playing games and different stuff like that. I actually did this with a couple games and it worked. It didn't work with every game, but whenever I'm using things like Opera, the internet, for example, I tap the internet, this is Opera, or Google Chrome, whatever you use. If I tap it again, that button, it pulls everything down so I can get back to my main menu. And then if I tap it again, it brings up whatever it is that I did. So I do think that, you know, the app customization is pretty good for this. And for the asking price, it's not a bad mouse. Granted, I have had the $100 mouse for the, the, the Logitech. I pretty much used that mouse for so long that the rubber on it started rubbing away and it was time for a new mouse. And I happened to get this one. And when I saw the keyboard, well, actually, no, I got the keyboard first. And then I saw the mouse and said, I might as well just get the combo. And I actually have the headset too, the JLAT work headset. I have all that stuff. But the thing is, um, you know, I'm not here to advocate for the company, but I do think that this is a really good product and you can't go wrong with it. Now, the ergonomic design, as you can see, you already know for people out here is really meant for people with carpal tunnel, or in my opinion, it's meant to prevent carpal tunnel and things like that anyway. It feels good. I don't have a problem with the mouse. And I think that, you know, anyone that uses it wouldn't have a problem either. It does feel a little hollow at times because it's super light, but with all the functionality, who cares? At the end of the day, it's all about liking what you like and that's pretty much it. So all in all, I do think that this is a really good mouse pad. If I'm being, I'm, I'm looking at the microphone like that's the camera. I do think that this is a really good mouse pad overall. The price tag does offer you a lot. You have basically Bluetooth, AKA multi-point. You have a 2.4 gigahertz option for the dongle. So you have both the best worlds, Bluetooth and that. Um, I don't believe there's a corded mode at all. I tried it, it didn't work, but who cares? You got the dongle, that's what matters anyway, because it's gonna get plugged into a USB anyway. You have a bunch of different functionality with the buttons, full customization out of, you know, over six keys. I don't know which more you really wanna ask for. It's, it boasts a four month battery life. Now, don't get me wrong. For an average person that uses their computer every day but not is on it for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours throughout the day remember i do edits videos i have multiple channels i'm always doing something my battery life is going to differ from the average person but on average you will get about three or four months of battery life out of this on one charge which is really really good i had it for quite some time now and i only charge about maybe three times out of the seven, eight months that I had the mouse. And, and a couple of times I charged it and it wasn't even dying. I just wanted to make sure because I didn't feel like charging it later. It is what it is. But I like the mouse. For $39.99, that's not bad. If you happen to find it cheaper for like Amazon or something like that, pick it up. Worst case scenario, you know, you can send it back. The ergonomic design is pretty comfortable. Now, granted, there are other mouse pads out there that are much more comfortable than this. The Logitech one, uh, is a $99 mouse. I forget exactly what it's called, the MX something or something like that. And that one is super, super comfortable. Ergonomic design has crazy grips and everything. That's my favorite mouse ever. But I stopped using it because, you know, I was rubbing away the grip and it was time for a new one. Plus, you know, I, want, I had a JLab set up. I got the earbuds and everything. I wanted to make sure that everything looks fresh on my desk, you know, like a theme. And I like this mouse. It works well for me. I don't have to use it, but I do use it every day. And I'm a firm believer that you should use the products that you talk about or promote. And that's what I do. And I like the mouse. It's in what's approved. Anyway, like and subscribe, like always guys. Um, you know, check out other reviews. Do some research, of course, when you see the mouse. Go to the JLab website themselves. I'm sure they talk about the mouse and see how you feel about it rather than just listening to me and then get you make yourself an informed decision. Anyway, like and subscribe like always. I will see you guys in the next video. Links for all these products will be in the description. And no, they're not paying me. This is stuff that I actually got myself. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>